Right friends, welcome back to SNT Health and Environment. This is 18th week. We are going to deliberate on uh, two issues. One is uh, Kane Betwa project that is uh, linking Kane River and Betwa River between uh, Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh and environmental concerns. Second issue is food in India is untested for diabetes linked chemical. A public interest litigation petition filed in Madras High Court. We are going to deliberate on this. First issue, Kane Betwa project and environmental concerns. What is meant by Kane Betwa project? It involves constructing 288 meters of Daudhan Dam. And please look into this slide. This Kane Betwa link connects Kane River. This Kane River at the location of connection is in Madhya Pradesh and it links to Betwa River and the purpose of this project is to shift surplus water from Kane Basin to Betwa Basin and what is the advantage? It will provide water to the drought prone Bundelkhand region. Please look into this slide. This is Bundelkhand region and this is situated in Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. This region is a Bundelkhand region and that is a drought prone region and once this Ken Betwa link comes up then this Bundelkhand region will be benefited and it will irrigate 6 lakh hectares and as I have already told you it will be a boon to the parched Bundelkhand region of Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh and environmental issue let us go to the real issue total 6000 hectares of land is needed for acquisition and it will inundate about 400 of around 4000 hectares of a Panna Tiger Reserve in Madhya Pradesh. This Panna Tiger Reserve is situated in Madhya Pradesh closer to this canal and in fact canal passes through this region and it will inundate about 400 of around 4000 hectares of Panna Tiger Reserve in Madhya Pradesh and total project involves 9000 hectares and half of which is a forest land then threat to the tiger habitat is the real concern and if you look at more about the Panna Tiger Reserve, it is located in Vindhyan Hills in Northern Madhya Pradesh. It consists of a dry deciduous forest and it is characterized by extensive plateaus and gorges and Ken River passes through this region and it gives unparalleled beauty to the region. And if you look at the endangered species in Panna, the number of tigers plummeted from 25 in 2006 to 0 in 2009. Subsequently, tigers from other region are relocated and at present the number is around 18. So, already the tiger reserve is under threat and the environmental concerns if you look at it from the wholesome perspective first and the foremost is it will destroy Panna Tiger Reserve which is facing a serious threat in recent times as just now we have discussed. Second important point is it is also serious threat to Gharial, Hainas and Vultures. Gharials please look into this slide then Hainas then Vultures and the construction of this Kane Betwa project is the real threat to these types of living creatures. And the third important aspect is environment impact assessment mentioned the presence of a Sangai at the Ken Basin. What is a Sangai? Please look into this slide. This is a Sangai and this is a endangered deer which is only found in Manipur in Northeast India and recent environment impact assessment mentioned the presence of Sangai at the Ken Basin. So, the major environmental concern is damage to Panna Tiger Reserve. Not only that, various types of other species will also be under threat once this project comes up. And if you want, what is the present status? An expert committee was constituted to look into the issue and the committee neither endorsed nor disapproved the project. 
the committee stated that if the government were to go ahead the proposed canal should not hinder the tiger movement and the committee also suggested that there should be enough habitable forest land developed to compensate for the loss of tiger reserve and mp government already agreed to compensate twice the area that will be lost in the reserve with the promise of developing 8000 hectares of alternate forest land as compensation but the biggest challenge is how to replenish with green cover because this 8000 hectares of land is almost barren how to replenish green cover in this 8000 hectares of barren land that is the real challenge to take this project ahead right look at the second issue food in india is it untested for diabetes linked chemical the issue is a public interest litigation was filed in madras high court and it alleged that aloxan a chemical which is mixed with the white flour or maida induces diabetes and the madras high court directed the food safety authorities to examine the allegation in 3 months i would like to tell you two points here the food regulator in our country is fssai then it already banned aloxan and at the same time you should not forget maida is a finely milled refined and bleached wheat flour it is a finely milled and at the same time certain additives are added so it has to give white color to it right so maida is nothing but a finely milled refined and bleached wheat flour and what is aloxan and where it is used aloxan was the first isolated by italian scientist luigi brugnatelli and where this aloxan is used this aloxan is used in laboratories basically to induce diabetes in rats and to test the efficiency of anti diabetic medicines to test the efficiency of anti diabetic medicines in rats this aloxan is introduced and its structure resembles that of glucose in rats what will happen once this aloxan is induced into the rats then pancreas absorbs aloxan subsequently it will destroy insulin producing beta cells and in this way artificially diabetes is induced into rats and as per the american chemical society in human beings it cannot be taken up by the human pancreas though it has been shown to be associated with liver and kidney toxicity as per the american chemical society it cannot be taken up by the human pancreas but in rats it absorbs aloxan in rats pancreas absorbs aloxan and subsequently it destroy insulin producing beta cells but as per the american chemical society it cannot take place in human beings right and if presence of aloxan in flour is there how does it make a difference to the mankind because this maida is used to make parathas puris hence the risk of diabetes as well as heart attacks will increase that is the main issue here but if you have to believe american chemical society it cannot be taken up by human pancreas right and i would like to remind you this year world health day was observed on 7th april and basically world health organization released its first ever global report on diabetes and 8.5% of the world population had diabetes 2 years ago when you compare it with 4.7% in 1980 so alarming rise in diabetes during the past 35 years and incidentally the theme for 2016 world health day is halt the rise beat diabetes and what is the present status in india fssa the food regulator does not permit aloxan as a food additive that is first point 
second is no known studies so far specifically discovered alloxan in indian foods and at the same time no study was made for alloxan in street food and now fssai is to do further investigations with regard to alloxan in street food however the bleaching agents as we have discussed maida is nothing but bleached wheat flour then what are the bleaching agents the bleaching agents are like benzoyl peroxide and chlorine oxide these are allowed as per fssai guidelines and up to certain limits they are allowed but alloxan is not allowed and now fssai has to do further tests to look at the presence of alloxan right so this is all about alloxan and the issue pertaining to diabetes in india right friends with this let us conclude the science technology health and environment please do join for other modules have a nice day thank you